Folks, today we're playing the full version of As Far As The Eye. This is the game whose demo I played on the channel recently, and it's out now on Steam. Uh, this is a roguelite turn-based strategy game come Colony Builder, where you have to settle your caravan on one of these small maps, gather enough resources to move on, in this case wood and wool, and then cross the map, stepping stoning your way across to the eye on the right hand side. I've currently chosen this as my current goal. I could choose that, but it's got slightly harder requirements. So let's go to the small marsh halt. Uh, but first of all, we need to start gathering. We need wood and wool. So, our colonists, Nita, Polyphene, and Ariste, each of which have, like, negative and positive random traits. Like, for instance, Nita can harvest faster, but she can't cross mountains. So what I'm going to do is get... Oh, hang on. In fact, Nita can harvest some wood, because if you harvest faster, that's a very good thing. Uh, we need wood to start building buildings. Uh, someone else can explore. Um, so let's get Polyphene on the go. Let's send you over there to see what's out there. Uh, we'll also need wool, um, but before we can build a pasture to get the wool, we will need some more wood. So what I'll probably do is get a reest. Oh, actually, I'll get a reest getting some food. Right, then we can end the turn and people will spring into action. I should point out with the food that they'll eat their rations by, um, as a priority at a rate of six per turn, so that's eating across the colony. But if, if we run out of rations, we'll start eating the pepkins or other food. Um, preferably not, though. Anyway, so we're gathering wood, we're gathering stuff. Um, we've found some remains, um, which will be a random um, event, so let's not worry about that just yet. We've found some stone and wool in a mountain. Ooh, not bad at all. But let's stick with stone to what's down here. I don't really see the point in exploring too much more, but let's have a look over here. Oh, hello. Okay, so that's a, ben um, a malign influence. Um, all these tiles around it will be harder to harvest from. In fact, let's actually explore these ruins. Why not? We may get lucky. A small alcove preserved in the vagaries of time. We find a small chest. A mystical wave shakes the whole area. Uh-oh. Um, all the areas revealed in the region disappear. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, we've destroyed the map. Well, that's a random event and a half. Okay, well, let's bring you back home because that was a waste of bloody time. Let's get back. Right, okay, so where are we at the moment? We've got enough... We haven't really got that much wood. So I think I'll get polyphene on the wood gathering duties after all. So we're getting food and wood, which is always going to be the first things that we need. Ideally, we want to get some way of converting food into rations, which makes more efficient use of what you've got. So I'll skip on a few turns as we gather some resources. We're starting to get enough wood for buildings, but we also have a, a rogue friendly tribe um, happening. So let's just quickly say hello to you. Um, so, there's a trade, which we're not going to do. Uh, there's an extra person. That might be useful. Or, there's a druid who will um, sort out all these sacred sites and things. I'm going to get the extra person. And mainly because, I mean, we'll have to feed them, which will cost us more. But one of our lads, our east, actually eats less. So I think we can afford to do this. The only problem is, when we've got a fourth person, they'll only do any proper work once you've built an extra tent for them. And uh, let's just see. Who's, who's the... We haven't actually used anyone to do any building yet. We really want to train someone up as a builder. So, I think ne Nita's doing wood. Hoggy, I think you are... Oh, you're, you're new, aren't you? And Polyphene is getting wood. And Ariste needs to start gathering some more food. Okay. Well, at the moment, uh, we actually have got some experience in certain areas. So we can start working out what we're going to specialise people in doing. So, Hoggy... Um, is a really good trapper, but I say we can't actually use you yet, other than for exploration, because, so no tent, no work. Um, but Nita is becoming a gatherer, and it's a good idea to, like, make notes for yourself. Um, I'm just doing it on pen and paper, but it's, you can do it in-game, obviously. And we've got Polythene, who is not specialising yet, and Ariste, who is not specialising yet. So I think Nita will definitely become a gatherer, which is like um, wood, or even actually getting food as well, will come under that. And there's a whole skill tree thing. Like, um, over... Where have we got? Um, fruit gatherer and woodcutter are the, like, the ultimate goals here. You start out as a... Um, getting experience in just general gathering. And then at some point we can choose to specialise. Um, it's a bit complicated, so I won't go into it too much. Um, I think... Yes. It won't complain about the, the fourth lad having nothing to do, because we can't give them anything to do at the moment. But they are, they are still busy eating us out of house and home. So what we need to do is, let's see, um, someone can do some building, I think. Let's get Polyphene as a builder. I know you're getting wood at the moment, but I think we've probably got enough. So, what do we need to make? 
Uh, we need to make a camp. For that, we need wool and pack animal. All right. Well, that's fine. So let's build a pasture first. That's Hoggy again. So if we build a pasture, we can start gathering sheeps. Let's build it there. We also need to gather some pack animal, which is them. We can get that from the, up there. So it looks like Polyphene is going to become our builder. So I'll make a note of that. Uh, and now we need to start gathering the wool. And this comes under herder far slash farmer. So this is actually grower. Um, so we, we could actually train someone up as a grower, maybe. So Ariste, where are you? You're, you're currently gathering food. But let's turn you into a sheep lad. And you can only... You can only choose to gather sheep and from uh, from tiles once you've actually got one of these buildings. And most things require a building before you can start harvesting things, uh, apart from pepkins, where you can still build a building there to, to improve things, but that's not actually essential. All that'll do is make it so that the people who are specialising in, in harvesting will actually gain extra XP. So what's, what's what? Hoggy has... Oh, you've got nothing to do. Oh, it's because we've got two people with nothing to do. Okay, so you... I think, well, now we've actually got no one gathering. I think actually um, I'll put um, Polythene temporarily on gathering duties. Right, so how much... We haven't got any wool yet. As soon as we've got a bit more wool, and which will happen now we've actually got someone on the case. And a bit more wool. Yeah, we've got 84 wool. So now um, I'll send... Um, hang on, let's just wait until you come back. So you're gathering. You're you're the wood gatherer. I don't need. I don't you. You need you gathering wood for the time being. So, what I'm going to do is quickly go and grab the pack animal. There's only one of them on that tile, but it'll be enough. There we go. So we return that back to camp, or caravan, and now we should have enough resources now to do some proper ass building. So polyphene. I'm going to take you off gathering duties again once you've actually returned. Hang on. Who have we actually got now? Okay, Nita, you can start getting the food. And as soon as... As soon as Polyphene returns here, um, you're going to now build your camp. We can only build these adjacent to the caravan on an empty square. There we go. So you're building that. So that means all four people now have a place to sleep, which means we can use all four people, which is very good news indeed. So Aris still has got no um, XP in any particular area. And Nita is becoming a gatherer. We already know that. Um, I apologise for some of the flickering. That's unfortunately, I think, it's a, because it's a pre-release and there's still a couple of weird bugs here and there. Uh, Polyphene um, is officially now the best gatherer. That's less than ideal. And of course, we've got Hoggy, who's a good trapper. But we don't really want to do any trapping right now. So, do we have anyone on the wall at the moment? Um, yes, we do. We have Aris. And so that's good because we're almost, we've almost gathered enough wool now to actually um, be able to move on. Um, so what I'll do, um, whilst people have got nothing to do, is start gathering some wood. Uh, who is this? Um, Hoggy. You're going to gather some other stuff. Let's gather some spices. Oh, we can't because we haven't actually built the relevant building. In which case, food. Let's get some more food because we are going to run low on that. So now we are busy. We're getting the wool, we're getting the wood, we're getting the food. We're turning it to our caravan. Um, very soon, I think probably on one of the next turns, we'll have enough wool as well. So skip on a few turns. Yes, there we go. We have now got enough stuff. And um, so I'll, let, uh, I'll wait a couple of turns until everyone's returned what they've actually gathered. And then we'll move on. There we go. Let's leave this um, dirty hole behind and move on. So now we can either go to the medium ancient forest halt. Hang on. Oh, no, we, actually haven't, we haven't actually moved yet, have we? Um, so first of all, we actually do have to um, assign what, we, what we're going to take with us in stacks of a hundred. Um, since we've gathered so many of these bloody things, we may as well take them all. Uh, the game does punish you if you try to harvest way too many resources from a tile. It it's encourages you to only take what you need, which is a way, I suppose, of not like cheesing it too much by gathering too much earlier on. Um, if you do try and gather too much, it will punish you um, through ways and means. A bit of wood as well, a bit of finished rations, and that's it. If you build any temporary buildings, portable buildings, which are more expensive, you can also take pack those up and take those with you and put that, put that into storage, but early on in the game you probably wouldn't need to do that. 
Anyway, now we've moved on to the small marsh halt, and we can see where our next destination is going to be. Uh, this one, uh, small fertile lands halt, requires meats, or game, um, or, and we need someone to be a trapper level 2. Um, our new lad, the person who turned up, actually is that, which is handy. Or we could go to the medium ancient forest halt, um, in which case we'll need some other more boring things. Well, let's see, let's go to the small fertile lands, because then we'll start having to do some game hunting, which will make a bit of a difference. Plus, we'll also get some ore for the first time. Alright, I'll accept that. So this will be a... Oh god, we've got another bloody corrupting influence down there. That's really quite a large corrupting influence as well. Considering that we d this map is really small compared to the last one, this is not going to go so well, I don't think. Uh, we need game and we need ore. It looks like the mountain has loads of ore on it, so that's going to be a, a good start. So let's move the caravan, because we haven't settled yet. We don't need to do too much exploration here. God, it's very boggy around here. Yeah. I'm going to try just to have a bit of a peek over here as well. Mmm, this is less than ideal. Well, I shall camp down in this forest. I think I can clear this. Because that does mean we'll have some plains next to us, which means we can build uh, the camp for our fourth tent, which will be essential. So, who's the builder? Polyphene, which is you. I think we need to rebuild the camp. I don't think... Oh no, it's okay, it's packed up. Um, this has proven to be a little buggy in the past. Sometimes it doesn't necessarily take the camp with you, but in this case, yes, here we go. So that makes sure that we can use all four people. And but we will need to make sure that we do get food uh, as a priority now, because so far the food, we've only been relying on very basic stuff. We'll probably need to start processing it. So I've had a bit of a think, and I think I'm slightly doing things wrong here, because uh, I want to build a mine next to the mountain, and I'm currently building on the only plain next to the mountain, so... Uh, the camp is no longer going to be there. I mean, instead, and Polythene, or Polypheme, is going to build the camp above that. There. Uh, so I've already set Nita out to, um, to get some wood, so you're going to be doing that. Now, Hoggy is going to become the trapper. So we will need to build a hunting lodge, but I think that's going to be... We're going to need some wood first. Uh, leaving Ariste. Uh, we, we, we can't really do anything with yet because there's only three tents. Oh, actually, having said that, though, because if someone's not got anything to do, if Hoggy can't do anything, let's let's get some more wood. Oh, apparently that's already been gathered from. Right, let's set people off and running. We're building the camp, so that should happen shortly. There we go. Now we can get all four people involved. And we have enough wood now to build the trapper place. So Hoggy... Well, actually, no, polyth Polytheme can actually make the, the hunting lodge, but we also need to make the mine. But let's make a hunting lodge first. I'm not quite sure I'm going to make this, because we've not got that much space. Um, where's, where's all the meats? Where's all the best meats? It's kind of there. I could build it there. So I might have to build it there, I think. Yeah, I'm going to need to build it there. Hunting lodge. Yeah, that's fine. It's unavoidably fine. Who else? So, Hoggy, well, you're going to become the trapper eventually. For now, let's get some wood. Right, as soon as... There we go. Hoggy. Uh, well, I can't do anything just yet. I need polyphene. I need polyphene to go and... Have we got enough wood for a mine yet? I'm d not quite sure we have. No, we need a tiny, tiny bit more. So, I'm going to... Let people idle for a while. Well, one turn, anyway. Now we can build that. We can build the mine there. Hoggy can now get busy with the hunting lodge. You'll need game. And finally, we are starting to get... Um, okay, we are starting to hunt for meats. We can't really turn that into rations yet, though, unfortunately. Uh, because we haven't got the skills. But we, So we will we'll actually need to start thinking about food. And now... And we can turn, we, we can turn um, pepkins into stuff, but we will need another building. So, who's actually not doing anything, if anyone? You're gathering wood, and so are you. Well, let's look at this. I think we can make a bakery, and I think we can turn... Oh, no, actually, is it... I think it's a bakery. I think we can turn... Um... Pepkins into rations, even though it, says, it doesn't say it on the tooltip. 
But we... Oh, shit, we need stone. Um, we have stone there under the llamas. Hmm. We also need ore. But the mine is... The mine has happened now. Um, who is actually... Who is the miner? I think... We don't really have anyone who is actually particularly miney, do we? So, who's... Who's a bit crap? I think our east. I think our east, you're currently... You're just getting wood, so let's turn you into a miner. Meanwhile, Polypheme, the builder, will also need something to do. Um, so I think for now you're going to have to be... You're, you're going to build... You're going to get some stone, is what you're going to do. Unfortunately, we need a quarry to do that. Oh, there's so much we actually have to do. Okay. Quarry. I... Oh, I'm not sure that's close enough to the stone. We can't build it there because we've built another building there. Uh, we may just have to stick to basic gathering in this one then, uh, annoyingly, which is not ideal. Uh, I think, Nita, you can do some gathering. Get it from there. And Polypheme, the builder, I'm not quite sure what you need to do. I think you now probably need to get the wood that other people were trying to get. We do need a bit more wood, I think. Right. Things are... Oh, oh, it's, oh yeah, we, we've discovered the other. That's not a problem. Right, so the food is starting to go down a bit, which is a shame. But we've got a horrible location here where we've got no hardly anywhere to build things on. I think you can do something about the um the aura by sending a pupil to calm the aura and render its influence positive on food. Um, oh, we've run out of wood somewhere. No, oh, that's fine. I could do with another hunter, to be honest, because we're not getting meats very quickly. We're getting ore quite quickly. And you vaguely have now we're gonna get a flood. Building adjacent to Lake Hex has lose seventy. Ooh. That's a lot of buildings. I'm sure we're fine now. Oh, they have run out of game in one of the spots. So someone's gonna have to commute a bit further now. You. The hoggy. Oh, we've actually got a um we've got a rogue caravan. Um I think it's about to disappear. Oh no, it's, it's okay. We'll wait for you to return resources and then we'll send you out. Polypheme, who is gathering wood. Trade 50 wood for 100 rations. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like a very good deal. Meanwhile, someone's getting overworked. Uh, never mind about that. So, we've got the ore. In fact, I think maybe then the ore guy, Ariste, who is now actually a um, grower, stone gatherer, and gatherer. You're a jack of all trades. You, I think you should probably help out with... I, well, we can't, we, we've only really got enough room for one pupil in the hunting lodge. Um, is there anything that we can fish? Mm, I think nobody else is gathering food, I don't think, at the moment. Oh no, yeah, Nita's actually doing food. I'm not quite sure... If we really need to give you anything to do at the moment, then. Maybe food or wood is probably the, the way forward, then. Well, we've, got, we've actually got plenty of wood. So, in this case, it's not really much of an issue. I'll just carry on getting a bit more ore for the time being. Which one are you? A polytheme. What actually are you good at? You're good at gathering, so... Get, get back on the wood, I think. That might be the way to do it. Each people who works in harvesting, production, or construction will become sick. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, we may have to stop. Oh, God. They're going to get sick for six turns. That's, in, that's kind of difficult to do anything about. We've got some... Oh, we haven't got any potions. Ugh. Not really much we can do. They are going to get sick for a while. They haven't got a huge amount of... It, um, X, um, health points either. They'll lose 10 per turn for another uh, for another few turns. I'm hoping this is not going to be fatal, <laughs> frankly. I think we're good now. I think that's now st the sickness has now stopped. Ooh, that hurt. They can die very easily, unfortunately. So, we're still slowly gathering the meats, but it's taking forever because the hunting lodge is in not the good place. I'm tempted to buy another one. Or build another one. Yeah, I think that might be the way forwards. How much does it cost? 100 wood. Yes, that's good. That's some meats down there. We don't want to put them there because that'll deplete those meats. That's fine. 
So we'll do that. Amnesia. 200 knowledge points. Oh, bloody hell. That's less than ideal. Huh. Right, never mind about that. Vagaries. Things are starting to get a little sloppy now. Anyway, more meats. Oh, there's more stone down there. Right, this should get us where we need to be a bit quicker. I think we just have to um, keep on pushing the next turn button for a while. We've got shit tons of ore. Probably too much. Influential nature. Oh, gold. Now what? Nature protects its resources and protective ores increase their areas of influence. Oh, no. Most, it's, it's taking up most of the map now. It's okay, we're nearly done. Just a little more and we can go. We are starting to deplete our normal food. But we nearly... All we have to do is get a little more food and we can piss off. There we go. But we are very low on food. Huh. That was bad. Right. So, see what we can put into storage. Yeah, we got all for days. Oh, go in there. Yeah, this is fine. All good. We definitely need the food. Oh, one. That's annoying. That's fine, though. And then we can choose to either go to there, which is requires pepkins and wool, or there, which again requires trapper two. I think we've already got... We have got trapper two. I'm not quite sure why it's red. Um, we've got 600 fish. Ooh. Oh, this is further on. I mean, going there would be actually not advancing, so... There... And then we're only, once we get there, we're only two stops away from the eye. Which is very nice indeed. So I think um, getting to the eye will take like a couple of hours of gameplay, I guess. Not quite sure what happens when you get there. Um, but we'll stop here, just have a quick look around to see what we've got. Um, it looks like there's absolutely loads of places to get fish. But we will have to start thinking about how to, having to, how to do fish, I guess. Um, but let's just go there. Settle. And done. Okay, so thanks for watching. We may pick this up again if there's enough interest. Um, see if we can actually get to the eye. Um, do subscribe to the channel to be notified when new stuff goes live about all the latest and best new indie games around. And check out me out on, on Patreon or buy me a coffee if you want to support the channel. Keep us going through all these times and all that. Uh, bye for now.